Hello and welcome to Project 6 Light Level Switch using Easy Circuit Designer and Easy Core Chart. We'll begin by opening up Easy Circuit Designer and creating a new project by going to File and then New. We'll name the project Light Detector and hit OK. We'll start off by adding a light dependent resistor or LDR by scrolling through the circuit groups menu and clicking on this LDR icon. We'll now place this by clicking on the A3 pin and rename the newly placed LDR light sensor by right clicking on the label, selecting rename and typing light sensor and hitting the enter key. Next we'll place an LCD by scrolling up through the circuit groups menu to the LCD icon, click it and Easy Circuit Designer will automatically place the LCD. We now want to rename this by right clicking on the label, selecting rename and typing LCD. Finally we want to add a relay, so select relay from the circuit groups, circuit groups menu and click A7 to place it. Once again right click on the label, select rename and rename it relay. Now we want to send our project to core chart, so we click on the send to core chart icon. Core chart will automatically generate two test subroutines, one to test the LCD and one to test the relay. To run these, make sure that the hardware is connected properly so that the, e the eLab 16M controller board is connected to the power and that it's switched on and it's also connected to the USB P programmer and that the USB P program is connected to the PC. Then what we have to do is go to send program to chip button, click OK and save it as light detector. Core chart will send the program to the chip. When run, the program will display hello on the LCD and the relay will turn on and off. Now that the hardware has been tested, we can now move on to creating our light level switch program. We'll start off by deleting these two icons though, by clicking on the icon and then selecting delete and then OK, or clicking on the icon and hitting the delete key on the keyboard, followed by OK. The first icon we are going to place is the inputs. So I click on the inputs icon, then select analog conversion, and place it in the program by selecting the little black arrow below the start main. Now I want to open up this icons options by double clicking on it. Now in the options window we want to select light sensor as the source and leave result as the destination and click OK. We now want to display that result on the LCD. By clicking on the LCD, then this number LCD, and once again placing it by clicking on the little black arrow. Now double click on the disk number LCD icon to bring up its options, and in the options window select result as the source and click OK. We now want to add a compare. To do this, we click on the numbers icon, select compare from the list, and place it by clicking on the little black arrow, and again opening up its options by double clicking on the icon. We want to select source as a result, and in the compare with field, we want to type the number 3, so that the result will be compared with 3, which will be 3 volts. We also want to set the above and below checkboxes and set the hysteris value to 10% and then finally click OK. The compare icon will generate the two decisions we asked for. Next we want to place our outputs by clicking on the outputs icon then the on off pin and place one below the if, a, if below decision 
and another blow the if above decision. Now we want to configure these two icons by double clicking on and the first one, which will be the if below, will be relay off, and the second, which will be below the if above, will be relay on. Next, we'll place an LCD format by going to LCD and then LCD format, and place it by clicking the little black arrow, and again, opening up its options, and you'll see it has many useful functions for using LCDs. For this project we'll be using the return home cursor. It also uses a delay which is currently set to one third of a second. Finally click OK and we now want to add a go to to loop back to the start. So we click go to which has a go to property of start and place it at the end. This completes the light level switch program that frees the analog value of the LDR stores converts it digital and stores it in result, displays a result on the LCD, compares the result to three volts, and if it's below three volts turns the relay off, and if it's above three volts turns the relay on. Then sends the cursor of the LCD back to the start and then loops to the beginning of the program again. Once again make sure all the hardware is connected properly and then send the program to chip by clicking send program to chip and OK. When run, the program will display a volt value on the LCD, which is from the LDR, and the relay will turn on or off depending on that value. This concludes Project 6.